The House Intel Committee is releasing a transcript of their interview with former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. Page says he asked for permission to travel to Russia for a July 2016 trip from then campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, and that Lewandowski greenlighted the trip on the condition his travel was unassociated with campaign work. For more on this, I want to bring in NBC National Sec Security and Justice reporter Julia Ainsley, Matt Miller, former chief spokesman for the Justice Department, and MSNBC Justice and Security analyst. And Nancy Cook, White House reporter for Politico, and Ken Vogel, political reporter for the New York Times, continue to be here with me. Julia, I want to start with you and these new details that we learned overnight from the House Intel Committee. What's your big takeaway? Right. So, the way Carter Page first described this trip was that he was going to a university to give a speech. It was unaffiliated with his work on the campaign. But what came out through these transcripts, and it was eight hours of testimony, mm. so there's a lot to go to. But what's, what's jumping out first is that obviously there were people on this campaign who knew exactly what Carter Page was doing and that he relayed specifically to J.D. Gordon when he came back that he had incredible insights to share from this trip. So this is really changing that narrative. And of course, at the time, Carter Page was a foreign policy advisor and the people he met with, including the Russian deputy prime minister, okay. knew that. And J.D. Gordon, who's a former campaign advisor, advised him not to go and said, Carter Page basically went around him, went to Lewandowski, Hope Hicks, got permission, and they said, hey, you can go as long as it's not related to the campaign. Right. That is what J.D. Gordon is saying now, that he went around him, went to campaign leadership. And then, of course, we're asked, well, then what did you think when you got the email when he came back saying he had incredible insights? Yeah. And he's saying, look, I got thousands of emails. I can't remember them all, which is something we've been hearing a lot as we've looked into this investigation. And Matt Miller, I want to go to you next and follow up with this. Page was presented with an email that he'd not previously disclosed during this House Intelligence Committee hearing. And the email was from Page, written to Trump campaign officials. And here's what this email said. This is in reference to his Russia trip. And this was read by California Democrat Representative Jackie Speer. The email says, please let me know if you have any reservations or thoughts on how you'd prefer me to focus these remarks. Now, we want to underscore the fact that, look, this is Page going to campaign officials, not the other way around. But what do you make of this email? I think it shows that, that campaign officials knew contemporaneously back in 2016 exactly what Carter Page was going to Russia to do. And I think this is all important because it confirms largely some of the allegations that were contained in that uh, explosive, in some cases salacious, steel dossier that we know the FBI is investigating. That dossier said that, that Carter Page, when he went to Moscow, met with officials from uh, the Russian government and from Rosneft, the state-owned oil company. Carter Page has largely denied it in his public uh, appearances over the last few months. In this, interv in this interview yesterday, he confirmed it. Now, do, did everyone at the campaign know the full details of what he discussed with them? That's not entirely clear. Uh, a lot of the people I don't think are being completely forthcoming. Mm -hmm. the, they're going to have to talk under oath, probably to the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, to the House Intelligence Committee, but also to Bob Mueller to explain what they knew about his trip and whether they heard anything about a potential quid pro quo deal in which mm. the campaign would, would express support for, uh, for, for lifting sanctions on Russia should they win the election. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.